Hello and welcome back to FPV Reviews. We've had many inquiries lately regarding the heavy-duty landing gear, air brakes, and other modifications that are commonly seen on Gemini V2 builds, such as the ones we're using in Africa. We wanted to explore some possibilities for specific modifications, so we built a new Gemini V2 airframe from the laser cut kit in order to test the components. This aircraft is equipped with DJI 4216 motors swinging 16 by 10 APC props and Castle Creations Edge 50 amp speed controllers. It has a 6S 10P Tesla style 60 cell battery with XT90 anti spark connector. It's using a Castle Creations 20 amp Pro BEC to power the servo rail. The nose gear is a Robart number 679. L offset trailing link robo strut with three and a half inch wheel and is actuated by a high tech HS645 metal gear servo with 440 threaded rod and Dubro number 2263 heavy duty ball links. The brackets and control horn are custom made from aluminum. Another option for the nose gear for Gemini V2 is the Robart number 159F. The main gear is a carbon fiber molded piece made for an extra 350cc gas engine aerobatic airplane. It has 2 inch long 3 16 inch diameter Dubro number 249 axles and 4-inch Skylight wheels by Sullivan. Today we're testing the improved air brake design, which provides roughly twice the drag coefficient than the previous version. These are designed using CAD, have a high-torque digital servo for each side, and are isolated from the interior of the fuselage, as we found there can be issues when these type of fuselage-mounted air brakes are deployed with the barometric pressure sensor on some autopilots inside the fuselage, affecting the altitude estimation. This solves all those issues while providing a solution that enhances the directional stability of the plane at low speeds. We're also using the improved wingtips for this plane as they provide extra lift. We've already performed a 15-minute torture test of the propulsion system at full power, so we're confident that it will perform. Now let's get the plane in the air to test those air brakes. First, a quick taxi test to check the landing gear. 